Okay, we'll start sitting after a few stories here. Uh, we'll stand up. I want to go over some uh, the couple repeat on the chance again to remind you. What are we on tonight? Circle center, the elusive self. Okay, we're we're heading towards self, people. We are, we are. Tonight we'll try to put a dent in it, okay? So bear with me. Okay. Uh, I was talking to Cruz uh, and uh, she told me a little story. I thought it was good. Uh, I don't know if this <laughs> depiction is going to do it, but she's a center type as opposed to the circular type. She's a center type. Okay. Uh, and so she was working her center. She wants to get a, a job at a, at a particular place. And she was working her center, pumping the pump, and then realizing that she was starting to strain a little bit. Okay, bing, that's your clue. Something's up here. Trying to do more than what the center alone can do at that moment. Okay? Uh, once you realize you're starting to strain, easy. Uh, if you got plenty of time, uh, that center was balanced before you started to add more and strain it. And then she did a very good move. She called the boss lady at this place she wanted to work. So she called the lady who runs this circle realm job and said, could you lay that, what you're looking for, where you guys are going? Uh, it's, uh, it's a school. Where you guys are going with this school? What's your philosophy? What, what are you up to? And this lady, explain more clearly the purpose of the school or laid out more the situation as the lady laid out the situation better and clearer cruz's center said whoa yes i can fit in here so uh, so the center realizes that circle is perfect for it so center and then circle and realizing, oh, there's a fit. Yes, this is my job. This is my place. So she got the job anyway. So did you follow my dumb diagram here? Is that a ha or a ha? Seemed clear. Okay, thank you. I got to say at least one thumb up. <laughs> okay. Next story. Way back in the day when I was hanging out with the uh, uh, dogs, <laughs> dog people. Uh, at that time, I happened to be a dog whisperer, which was my little sideline. Um, and so this uh, lady, the head of the club I was re related with, uh, uh, knowing I could do some things a bit different than other people, said, could you check in about my son, a young guy, and he's trying to find uh, his work. And so I said, okay, and I did my thing. I said, oh, sales, oh yeah, sales. I said to her, sales. And she said, oh, no, 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 no. And she mentioned this big amount of jobs that he had had as sales. And I, I forget whether it was four or eight or 12, but he had a, he's a young guy, but he had all these jobs at sales that wouldn't work out and he quit, okay? So my sense, now if I'm going to lay that out better, would, would be, oh, okay, you're still a salesman. Let's figure he's centered. But what he hasn't found in the realm around him is the proper product that he could get behind or sell gladly, honestly, happily. Uh, so he had this, but I, I surmise that his selling job that didn't pan out were products he couldn't get behind, you know. Uh, he wasn't a uh, uh, an encyclopedia salesman or a uh, vacuum sales or whatever he was blowing with. He just had to find out what what product that he could blend, match with. So the center and the circle, and the circle and the center are clicking together. Boom. Okay. Did you follow that story? Okay. Yep. Okay, thank you. Uh, 
Dusty, Dusty. Uh, Dusty mentioned last week, good presentation, Dusty. Uh, are Dusty on? Dusty is here. Yeah. Okay. I'm here. Okay. All right. Don't need any input. You can just listen. Okay. So uh, let's see if this diagram will do it. So uh, Dusty is more circular, uh, situational or oriented. Of course, there's a center there. Whenever you get a circle, it's going to be a center, but it's a no limited center for lack of words right, right now. And when in the classroom, the kids go too crazy, he gets pulled out of his center and he loses it with the class. Basically is what he said, okay? Uh, uh, Dusty, bear with my interpretation of what you said, okay? <laughs> okay, so we're saying, Oh, okay. What you have to do is shift your focus from uh, orienting to the, the, the kids and stuff. Yes, that's your world, but you're not doing too well with it. Okay. So now we'll shift our focus to the up and down center, and it goes much deeper than you're used to. Okay. So don't just have Dusty's normal. Oh, yeah, deeper. Oh, yeah. Uh, it really really have to sense deeper of the up and down beats of things. And that makes us up the better teacher with wild kids. He'll, he'll be, I don't know, twice as effective or, or, or something. So we have a character from the circle and energies, but he's not contending well. That character's got to double up, get fuller. I like that, get fuller. So that's when we use the up and down center energy beats to mix up teacher, whatever your title is or your job description. Is that is that okay? I may have said that last week, but you fit into a pattern here to, to tonight. Is that okay? No. Th thank you for that too. And this week. No, no. <laughs> no, you was very helpful what you said, because I get ahead of myself. So I appreciate what you said. Yeah, it, well, this guy up the, here I, will. He will get ahead. Of, he's almost leaning forward. He doesn't have the yeah. depth of ground to be more present in the here and now. So same, same thing. Nothing new has been added here. Of course, you get ahead of yourself. You're out in the world, and you're in the and wow, and you're in the and that's it. Bing. It's all intents and purposes. You fall over. We're going to give you if you work the center more your center, your energies, and the character you, the fuller character you, the doubled up character, the fuller character, he should be able to contend with whatever, okay? Be present with whatever. He's being, he's there with whatever. Yeah, kind of a basic yeah. Aikido schematic, what we're in one sense trying to do with the Aikido. Uh, we present you with more and more stronger attacks, the variation of attacks. Uh, and if you can't contend with them, we say, no, get more centered here, okay? More than your, if you're an awareness circular type, uh, we need more than that, deeper, deeper. Work it as an individual unit to center in that case, okay? Center gets better, circle gets clearer, circle gets clearer center can get better they work in tandem in relationship are we okay so far yeah Yoshida, spence amy shifley okay and it's oh stories uh one more uh again i mentioned it but uh with how we're kind of how i'm kind of trying to lay this out tonight so far uh the article in the paper about people getting anxious because the world's starting to open up. Those are the same people who got anxious when the world was closing down. <laughs> okay, so what's going on? As the world opens up, the center view has to be better character person, you, to contend with the opening up. Now, I would surmise uh, because the opening up of the world is probably going to be a little bit different uh, than the world from a year and a half ago. 
Okay, okay. Is, is that all right? Therefore, just that alone tells me to do a bit better job with the center. As the center intakes more energies, the energies know what's going on. And as you play with those and allow those, let those mix, I say, let those mix, then there won't be anxiety because all that that you call people call anxiety is just all that stuff trying to happen. You don't know what's happening and you get anxious because it's moving around or affecting you somehow. That's, that's the mixing stuff. That's you. <laughs> okay. Uh, so where are we? Uh, so keep that in mind if you're feeling edgy about going back to work in the world out there or whatever. Uh, just work your, 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 your center a bit more. And it should equalize with whatever the world is going to need from, from you. You don't have to know all the details. Trust the intelligence of these energies of how the system works. Okay. So I don't have to tell the energies uh, that are mixing up better what exactly I need. I, I just say, here's the problem. What you're going to do? Boom. And the energies are inherently intelligence. Boom. And it'll be the proper qualities of energy to develop me to be back in the world again. Okay. Are we all right? I think I'm finished with that series. Ah, that's a basic. Any Anything important that you catch the basics, right? Ah. Anything, problems that we can cover right now within the next couple of minutes here? Anybody? Hello. You got this pattern down, right? Yeah? Okay. All right, let's move on. Ah. We'll stand. We're going to chant. Are we going to move our arms first? Anyway, changing positions, be prepared to stand. Uh, sit. Okay, we are. Yes, feet. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Basically, we're going over what was just said in a little different format. Stay present. Ah, a bit of settledness. Ah, we're positioning. Ah, by being present, where that will help us line up to the center and circle uh, uh, creation that we're in. Okay. Along the way, remember the brain map. Uh, let me think about this. Let me figure it out. Let me see if anything's happening. Uh, no, no. Settle. You get to uh, uh, the beginnings of feeling. Continue finer feeling, continue sensing, continue to be finer sensing. We we'll just follow that brain map diagram thing down to finer levels of, of things. Okay, so we'll just file that away. Okay. Uh, there is a circle. Okay. The circle is the situation you're in, your world, and Big time were to be your creation circle. Okay. Now, the energies from circle move in, touch a center point, and beat back out. The sense of this game is when they come in, potentially. They're touching a little better dimension. And when they beat out, they're beating out finer vibrations of energies or finer level of energies. Okay. So, for example, if there's a problem here and I can't figure it out at all, easy. Lining up to that problem, the energies of that come in, easy. A sense of this is a finer dimension. At which time, maybe I won't see anything different. It's still the same dumb problem. I don't know what to do with it. 
possible. But as you continue, you'll reach a place here with that problem. Energy's in, easy, easy. Energy's re-beat back out. Ah, there'll be a, a little better scent. Oh, wait a minute. And that's when you begin to see some daylight or some possible possibilities. It starts to open up for you because you, you're looking at it at a finer dimension of itself. Is that okay? So energy's out, energy's in. In after a bit is definitely an opportunity, a finer dimension here, click, and finer dimension energy's out. Well, energy's in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Click, sense of finer dimensions, easy. Ah, energy speed out. Energy speed in. Easy. Your experiential sense will begin to be different. You'll, ah, yeah, this horrible problem is not horrible anymore. It's, it's, it's something's getting easier, something's getting clearer, something, whatever, what, whatever. Okay? Now, uh, let's see. Oakland, Amy. I, I think I tried to mention this to you. Don't know if I said it well then, but you like being in the forest. Wow, I feel good in the forest. And I say, great. But if you're going to do this work, if you're going to be a researcher, an inquirer, uh, say, oh, this is nice. Energies come in, forest energies. Next level, they go out finer of forest your sense of it there. And again, it'll take more than one beat. Ah. Energy to the forest come in, easy, inferring a dimensional click. Energies go out, they're forest energies, but at a finer vibration rate, whatever word you want to use. Ah. And as you're settling, remember, uh, feeling, finer feeling, sensing. As you're also settling and sensing, you can sense better, much more about the forest. I mean, it'll really talk to you. You think it's talking to you now. Do this for a while. Uh, it will share things about itself that are like, wow. Okay. So that's the circle of things. Center of things. Ah, different unit. Let's say different. No, I don't want to use the word unit. Different piece. So take a moment, click, let go of circle now. Now, center, center. Ah, the energies related to center move up and they move down. Okay. Ah. Right. Again, as they move up and down, on the down, we infer potential dimensional shift there. Boom. Click as if the floor is a little deeper, the pool is a little bigger. It's not a puddle, it's a little bit more of a big puddle, <laughs> beginning of a pool. And the energies from there come up finer, better, clearer. Ah, okay. Boom. So both of those, the circle energies can create a character or will create a character. The up and down energies create a character. Same character, but with both of these forces in harmony, the character is, I don't know, full-blown, uh, much fuller. Uh, not only does he believe this circle stuff, but he's got the guts, if you would, the <clears throat> intestinal fortitude to be present with it. Okay? Uh, to be a, a man of his world, something like that. <laughs> okay, so center, circle, circle, center, okay? Uh, if that's okay, just a reminder there. And, and again, one more time, be distinct. 
Don't be a circular and be saying, okay, center. It's a little confusing in your system. Be a little more concise. I do circle, I do circle. When I change, easy, ah, center. Now I do center. If I'm moving off of center, ah, yes, that was center, that was very nice. Now, hey, circle, circle. Okay, so don't get muddled in your own pattern. Uh, oh, clarity, let the clarity that's there show. Know when to pause, know when to, uh, know when you're changing your focus, for lack of words. I don't mean your focus, your, you can sense focus. Uh, note, note when you're changing patterns, whatever the right words are. You got the drift of what I'm trying to say here? Yeah? Ah, okay. Same pattern, but using sound. Hmm. Where should we start? Uh, we got to do uh, ah, oh. Now, uh, simple sounds. I'm going to use ah for center and o oh for circle. You do whatever you want, okay? So again, whenever I ask those sense, I mentioned this before, uh, about, well, which is which this way or that way, you'd say just be consistent. Whatever feels right to you, but be consistent. If you say, after a while, ah is definitely a center, then it's a center. If you say, oh is definitely a circle, then yeah, it's definitely a circle. Okay. In the early stages of this, I also leave myself a bit open to be corrected in case it says, no, 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 the other way around. Okay. Uh, so, could I say it that way? Okay. So center is vibing, let's say. And from that center, whatever uh, sense you have of center, center post, a pillar, whatever, whatever your sense of center is. From that center, there's a vibration out from that center. Oh. Again, remember the brain map. Ah, uh, ah, uh, it will start there, but my God, don't stay there. Keep settling where you start to get into a feeling, feeling a vibration. Ah, uh, keep settling where there's a sense experience of ah, uh, I. Okay, so don't be, I'm sorry, dumb and stay with ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, oh, he's bouncing back and forth there. Ain't nothing much gonna happen. So don't mind those couple of minutes, whatever, if you're gonna practice chanting or play with chanting, uh, for it to naturally uh, do that finer, finer, da, da. Okay, enough said on that, let's continue. When the awe ah goes out to the circle, feels that touch, did I say? Okay. It feels that touch from ah, because it's a partner. It responds back and it responds back to the center with oh. So the O oh vibration, if you would, touches the center the center feels that, okay, sense feels it, whatever words. And in feeling that, click, now it's centered, Oz turn. And from center, okay, and it goes out. In my case, apparently went out finer, further, a bit fuller, also, I, I noticed, whatever, and touches the circle. See, not just touches the circle here, but I noticed it touched it deep, deeper, deeper, touched the circle deeper, fuller, okay? 
again, the circle felt that touch and is responding. And the circle responds back to the center. I noticed the sound was longer, more comfortable, and that the center seemed to have been touched deeper from the circle energies, okay? No big deal, just notice, sense, feel, notice things, not to have your head trip. The center, having felt the input from circle touching it, is enlivened a bit by that also. And it itself comes more alive, center, okay? Almost like where she said, my God, you, you look good today. The guy will light up. <laughs> no? Do you remember, Brad, when you were single? <laughs> you had a certain compliment, you, you lit up. Yeah. Anyway, within your own system, kind of works that way. Uh, where are we? We're here on the center. And from that center, sense of feeling it, center, center. And from that center of vibration, of radiation, oh, oh, oh. Interesting. Oh, I like the way, for me, how it touched the circle a little fuller, like I'm moving this way, it touched the circle more fuller. Uh, there was something else in there and I lost it already. Uh, I lost it, the word I had. Now, click, circle. Circle felt that nice emanation from awe and was touched by it. And by law, has to respond. Oh. Oh. That old vibration touched the center that's improving, mind like getting deeper and fuller, uh, more alive, especially the depth part. I don't know, like she reminded me to put my shoes on. <laughs> I sometimes walk out of the house in my slippers. Got you got to say, where's your shoes? <laughs> Sorry, dumb example. Uh, anyway, let's take a pause here. Are, are you okay with that, uh, with that sense of things? <clears throat> Oopa! Ah, got to cover them all. I think so. Uh, uh, oh, ah, we didn't do Yagi. We should do a minute Yagi. Uh, but let's take a moment, and then we'll go back and chat Yagi, mommy. Okay. Ah, anything up to date here on this vibes touches that that feels it responds back with its vibe that they're reciprocal. They're in tandem. Okay. And what we're trying to do in getting balance is setting things up so the balance that's inherent can start to happen. Better the center, better the circle. Better the circle, better the center. Okay, and so it goes throughout creation. It'll start to vibe finer. Uh, so the character uh, following along with these vibes will be a finer vibing character. You'll get past body sense. You'll have a, a sense of a body, but it'll be more like an energy body. Uh, maybe you'll bump the chakra body. Wow. It's just a dimension along the way. Very nice. I'm not putting it down, but yeah, of course, should be so. Da 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 da. Okay. So that there's even going to be eventually, potentially a universal character you 
Okay, so as you go more full bore, uh, the big center, the big circle, not that you have to go out bigly, uh, or sense would say, just sense it finer. You'll have a sense it's big, but you don't have to go out. He didn't like that. He thought we'd dissipate, I think was his word. Uh, sense of, with these dimensional changes, yes, they'll appear bigger, but you don't have to go out bigger with them. Just pick up the vibration rate that's there. Okay, just be okay with the vibration rate that's there. Okay, we all right so far? Ah, uh, any, any problem before we jump back to chanting for a minute? No problems, you're understanding this fully. We all right? Yeah. Okay, one more chat. Sensei, I have one, one, one quick question. Yeah. You said uh, you had a nice expression for center um, and it was fortitude to be present with what is. And I like that, that was really cool. So I was wondering if you have the same sort of thing for circle. Uh, gee, yeah, hang, hang on. I want to go back to the fortitude thing. Yeah, sometimes people bullshit you and they're great in their own mind. They're sort of telling you how great they are, but you sort of check them out and you say, he ain't got it. Why yeah. is this wimp talking about being a fantastic martial artist? This guy's a wimp. If I hit him, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, you get the actual presence. Okay. Yep. And people who have that sense of centered presence recognize other people who have centered presence and they'll recognize people who are lolly lolly and overdoing this a bit or making trying to make that er everything when it's no this and that and that and this uh blah, blah, blah. Where am i going okay does the circle have uh sorry sean i got a little bit lost here circle. no it was good it was good all great um i just like the expression fortitude to be present with okay. and i was wondering if the, if circle yeah Okay, the circle guy, I don't know if this fits in, but this is what's coming from right now. A circle guy will be more aware of his surroundings. Circle guy will be a little more social. Circle guy ah, will know if his death's drink is empty. You'll pick that up mm -hmm. right away because he's aware yeah. at that level. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's great. Uh, uh, see, we, what we said to Dusty was, Dusty, you're, you, you're so into this that when it starts moving around, it pulls you off. Okay. So for you especially, you've got to get more of the center of things to help compensate. So you, then you'll get both. It'll be great. You'll have your loving careness, and you'll also have this, whatever it does there for him. And, and, and that makes up a much better you. You won't lose your caring, but you'll be, you won't fall over. <laughs> Best I can word things right now. Is that okay, Sean? Yeah, that's great. Um, um, how about uh, pervasive? You know, like the idea, of like being all aware, aware all over the place, per pervasive awareness. If you continue training, yep, your of course, of awareness course, yeah. increases. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's what happens in finer dimensions. Mm -hmm. It'll not, and then it's finer and finer. Uh, Zen story. Famous swordsman. Rich. He's got his nice house with the uh, wall surrounding. And he's so rich, he doesn't carry his own sword. He's got a, a sword boy who carries his sword. One evening, he's out in the garden enjoying his garden. And he senses something's wrong. But right at that time, the kid who's carrying the sword said, I don't care how good he is. I got the sword. I could get him. At which time the guy says, uh oh, quick, hand me my sword. 
their enemies in the gate. You understand? That's just an awareness level. Yeah, no big deal here. A clunkhead wouldn't be aware of anything in that garden. Okay? This guy was at a finer dimensional level, naturally, of being aware. So he picked something was amiss, picked it up. Okay? Yeah, good, good enough. Finish with shop. Good enough. Ah, where the hell are we? Time to chant? Is that where we're going? Yes. Okay. Ah, good old. Okay, this one, changing positions. Ah. This one I introduced to you because I, I picked it up from Osensei and thought I have to leave a few things behind here. So uh, do with this what you will. He really liked. Now here's how I use it. Yayi is my center, mommy is my circle. Okay. Whichever way you like. Osensei said, just be consistent. Okay. Okay. But Osensei liked that chant. Uh, he said for him it was a fast way of getting to someplace special. Okay. I'll start center. Take a moment. Center. Not just the word center. Okay, I'm going to start from center. It's, it's not just a word. It's center. Some some degree of feeling, sense feeling. I'm not going to feel a center. Yeah, but a sense feeling of center, right? Could be clearer for me. Center. Ah, there it is. It's shaping up better. It's, <clears throat> I'm, I'm even adjusting to it. Boom. Okay. So whatever you want to call that. <laughs> okay. From that center, it radiates out, lack of words. <sighs> Touches the circle. Now, click to change now. Circle felt that, even though it wasn't a great presentation, it felt something. <laughs> and circle responds. Mommy, move, touching the center, and they're both affected. Center was affected by. For me, it's a her, her touching. When he touches her, she is affected and she responds. And I don't care who male, female, how, however you set that up. Just be consistent. Okay, easy. We're at circle. We're at circle. I lost track. So. Circle, circle, easy. Circle, all this vibration of mommy, move, which touches the center. Now take a moment. I'm switching over from highlighting circle and switching to now highlighting the center itself, having been touched, wants to respond. Yeah, goes out and touches her. I could feel for me in that vibration, there was something being said as if he was saying for me, he, he was saying something to her. I, I didn't quite catch the dialogue, but they're starting to converse. Okay, whatever. Uh, things that as you practice with this, you should expect begin to expect to happen as you go finer dimensions finer dimensions circle got touched for lack of words feels his touch sets up to respond Mommy, move, move. 
again, I'm starting to hear things up. Almost like she said, I'm here to take care of you. There was a lot of a big mother sense for me. You get whatever you get. This is me doing me in my world. Okay. <sighs> Center's been touched and affected. <sighs> center, feeling all of that, wants to respond from the center in response. I don't think the dialogue is important, but what he said to her for me was, uh, thank you for what you just gave me, presented. I'll always be here for you. I'll always be here. Whenever you want to touch me, I'm here. I'll be touched and I'll thank you back. Okay, don't worry about the conversation. I'm just uh, alluding that after a while, you your sense of things really gets acute. <laughs> okay, uh, no big deal, no big deal. We're at circle. She felt that touch. She's prepping to uh, respond. Circle. Circle. Mommy, move, move. Interesting. This is the second time it's happened tonight where the circle sort of, I don't know what to say, ask, help push the center to be deeper. Okay, I noticed it on the earlier practice. And here it was again. Just no big deal. But I just note things and file them away. I don't. I don't stop my practice and start rolling on that. Okay, that would be dumb. Excuse me. It would be dumb. Stay on your practice. Any stories that crop up, great. File them away. Experience. Okay, so we got a circle. Circle felt that touch from the center and responds, mommy, move, Center feels that, maybe lights up a bit or goes a little deeper, fuller, and responds back. I'm starting to, by the way, and another aside, I'm starting to feel, uh, I guess, character. Uh, this guy in the middle of this, she's uh, actually getting kind of fuller. I feel fuller um, in a nice way. And I wasn't looking for who the character is, but it was so strongly there that I mentioned it. Was that good, good enough? Uh, okay, now, if you like chanting, go ye and chant. Okay, it's not a, a two-minute practice, not if you really want to inquire and get into finer dimensions. You got to hang out with it for a while. Okay. And I found the more I hung out with whatever uh, way I was chanting, it just naturally got finer and finer. And, oof, real nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so the, because of the harmonious relationship, uh, they'll naturally create a character who is on center. Okay, so that's, so in that case, they're like a mom and dad kind of thing. Okay, they have that same creative or breeding cap capability. So when those two are more in harmony, this character on center, can start to uh, experience himself as that character at that level, okay? Uh, so we've got, to, again, if you do circle only, if you're just major in that, there'll be a character there. If you do a center, there'll be a, a character there. Now, there's just one character, but when you do it that way, you're getting 
the fullness of the character because you're getting both attributes from the circle character and attributes from the center part of character. I don't know how to say that well, but is that clear enough? Anything here? Shall we move on? Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, I gotta move, gotta move. Uh, Now, when we get balance, why I'm going over balance again is because to put it proper, to get squared away or what we've been doing creates a unit, to have a good unit, the self is there and it can begin to show as the dimensional level of the unit or the combination of harmony of center and circle. As that gets better, the self that's there can begin to make itself know. Is that okay? Is that is that clear enough? Okay. So self exists all along the way, but if we get really tight and gnarly, whatever, uh, the self is there, but it's like a a drop or a little tiny self. Uh, so that person can't really, doesn't really have an inner self to work off of, not really. But as we square away, center circle, open finer dimensions, then point of balance there where we can say, okay, self. Okay, at first it won't be the actual self, uh, but you'll have a sense of something and that's okay. Right, and then we'll approach it again, and maybe there'll be a, a a finer a finer sense of something. Okay, when it is actually there, you'll know. So so don't worry if we have to make an a, an approach towards it. I don't have the words here, but is that good enough for right now? It better be because I don't know what else to say. Ah. <clears throat> So, Amy, who's hot the trot for self, Amy Oakland, who's hot the trot for self, I just want to make sure, it's not clear to me yet, that she understands the importance of the unit, the establishment of a center circle, and, and whatever level, Bobby level, okay, not good enough, really. Ah, I settle, I open center and circle. Here's a Here's a, and, and Robert characters there. There's a unit. Ah, at a finer level, can Robert pull it off? Maybe. Nado would probably pull it off because he's finer of this set. And when he touches self, self can begin to support better that unit. But because it eventually is a finer self, it enhances that unit to be a better level of itself. So uh, a unit to self, and for lack of words, self responds back. Self shows it's there. And because it's like more first, it can support the unit that you use to get to it, get supported back. Is, is, is that okay? See, I don't want you to touch a self and go loosey-goosey on me because there'll be that tendency uh, of going into the awareness half of self. Wow, I really love it because you're in loosey-goosey country. Whoa. Uh, but it won't work out in the big picture. It will not work out. I'm trying to save you eons of time here, <laughs> okay? So... Use your pattern, whatever pattern you're you, using, uh, center circle, whatever you're using to reference that, and whatever the character is, it's bred there. And through that, we'll call up self. Okay. Are we kind of okay so far? Sorry, a lot of these words are new for me in trying to pre present them. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, Autumn, 
Are you on tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to jump just for you because I picked you up. Uh, anyway, uh, your center to your circle. Pretty good. Um, yes, you got more work to do. Yes, yes, yes. But it's sort of almost a natural. Okay. You're in your job. You're actress to the theater or whatever you, words that you would use. Uh, uh, you may have worked hard and all of that. But also, I think you've had kind of an easy shot. You kind of clicked in there. Yeah, I, I know you may not agree because you had to sweat a little bit too, but it was kind of natural. Okay, so far? Okay. You say yes. Okay, bear with me here. But what you really want is to get this self, you're going to sound like Amy, the self that carries everything else, that supports everything else. Uh, that's what yourself I bumped into her the other day. That's what yourself is telling me, that it would love to be here as self in the life that you've established. So the acting career thing. Uh, that Yes, but it wants to be self running that. And God knows that could be glorious. I mean, we don't see that every day of the week. A self running the show. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Yeah. 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 So you're on the right track. Yourself really wants to do this. So it's setting up. You just need to practice a couple of, you know, basics. Learn our language, if you would. But it looks good to me. Uh, uh, real quick aside, uh, you're naturally beautiful. You're young and all of that. Uh, and there's a lot of beauty there. But when this self becomes first, uh, that beauty... I don't know, it's one of those things where the lady could be 65 or something and she's still gorgeous. Just as this beauty, there he is again, the cat. Uh, it would just be there. Another thing was uh, your presence. That's the word, presence. Uh, that as the self is there, your degree of presence will be like, oh my, wow. I mean, Everyone else behind the stage will say, oh my God, does she have presence? I mean, it'll be like, wow. So keep on track, you're on track, good. We'll just clean up your, you know, first entering basics here. Okay, we're gonna run out of time. So I was going to ask you to tell stories where you first had a sense of self, but I think we're gonna run out of time and won't actually touch self a bit. Uh, okay, I asked Katya the other night, I said, Katya, what's your sense of self? It's not like we sit around all the time talking about my work. She's got her work, I got my work. Uh, but I said, Katya, what's your sense of self? And she told an interesting story. She said, when I was 10, she said, uh, I knew there was a difference between I and me. Okay, good, something distinct there, good. And she said when the me was in effect, she could do things. And I said, we're talking about a 10 year old. She'd say, for example, uh, I'd go to the lake and go swimming with my family and they would freak out because I'd go way out in the middle of the lake. It's Switzerland, they got big lakes out there away out to the middle of the lake and just feel great, okay? And, and not be affected by the folks freaking out there. Uh, but it was the me. When she had the me, then she's not gonna drown kind of thing. She continues the story around the same age. Uh, she wants to play soccer with the boys, but she's a girl. Uh, so they give her a little bit of a bad time, but she wants to play. Uh, she's shifting into a me again because she wants to play. And there's an adult male who's like, oh, my God, a girl. Uh, and that miffed her a bit. So she really meed. And he was the goalkeeper, this adult male. And she blasted that ball more than once past that goalkeeper. He was really embarrassed. A 10-year-old girl just blasting the ball right past him, right through him. A me. To me, that's the beginning sense of a self trying to show. 
and how the effect, because that's there to some degree, okay? To some degree has a strong effect. Is that, are, are you following me? Are you following the story? Oh, Sensei, as a young boy on the beach, had a very similar uh, type approach. I was going over some old notes about that uh, the other day. Very similar to sort of like how Katya presented it. Uh, because remember, he first tried to use his mind to call up help that work. And he had this, I can't remember how he worded it, his feeling. He had this sense of something, okay? Remember, he's only a little kid, but he had this sense of something. And when that sense of something was here, he noticed the body became very important and the body was mixing up a stronger body. So whenever he had a sense of this thing, then the body would mix up a stronger body and, and he moved fast. I mean, it's going from the weakest kid in town to the champion it was fast. Okay, but he had this sense of something, all right? Um, when he first laid it out to me, I wasn't quite sure how, what piece was being presented, but then in later notes, uh, he says something about this piece that, oh, I know what that is, that's self, <laughs> okay? So even as a little kid, he had a little sense of self, and it was there enough to start to generate this. Okay, so we all have some self. We've bumped into it before. Uh, uh, you... I want to listen to your stories if you're following my stories here. Uh, anyway, square away, settle down, square away sense of settling down into a finer dimension, basics, easy settle, finer dimension, uh, retain your uh, proper squared awayness, your unit, okay? Tico sensei like that word, unit, unit. And within the unit, there someplace is the elusive self. Easy, and now self, as if, as if I'm saying self, can you show yourself? And I clear the stage from all the uh, energies of the unit. So I don't hang on to Bobby. I don't hang on to the world I'm in. I don't hang on to that. Okay. So when I, when I, when I do this, that's my, my style of downtime, me clearing the deck eight for self to show. Now, at first, of course, as the self shows a bit more, and it will, okay, it's going to quickly be covered by all these energies, of course. But as I do succeeding patterns with it, as I redo or rebeat that, then after a while, the uh, energies of center circle and creation I'm in uh, are less and less or less confining or finer of nature. They're not thick ropes. They're finer, finer at which time the self itself can show more of itself or be more present as itself, okay? And again, don't mind the time it takes as we make, bad word, make this approach to when it itself uh, has to show it's there. And if you keep clearing the decks, it's there and it will show, okay? We all have a self. Uh, I was going to play with that a bit, but also I want to hear the story. So I'm sorry. I didn't time it fantastic. I knew that was going to happen. Let's tell stories. Open mic. Did you not ever have some experience where you're in a situation and boom, it was almost like magic. Something, something was different. And this and that all just worked out, okay? Wada's got one uh, when his car was going off the high, off the road into a deep, 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 deep. And uh, uh, shit, 
and there was this feeling, some some sense of some, something, a flavor of something, and and how the car reacted, and and how instead of continuing down over the cliff more and more, how it it actually moved into a big tree, so it could be stopped there instead of continuing on over. Uh, but he said, like, like magic. I remember mine on a highway. I got my old 50 Cadillac. Uh, and I'm moving down the highway, you can imagine. This is a weird highway. In the middle of the highway is a signal light and cars can cross over. This is the middle of the highway. Uh, and some young kids ran the red purposely as you're screwing around with your teenagers. And boom, and the car started to ah, put on the brakes and whatever. Uh, I saw him at the last minute when the other cars cleared and there he was and there I was. I think our bumpers touched because my Cadillac started to spin. Okay. And at this time, there's this, I can't remember if it's been a long time ago, but oh, uh, this oh, kind of like, it's okay. It wasn't, it's okay. It was just a feeling of, it's okay. I was enjoying the ride. I was enjoying the spin of the car. I remember thinking, oh, this is like a great Aikido move. He moves, I move, da, da, da. And I thought, that was great fun. And after my car stopped spinning, uh, I was like laughing. It was just like, kind of joyful. It was fun. And I started to drive back because all the other drivers, the kids kept going, of course, uh, but all the other drivers had pulled over and were we're talking about how my, we all could have got killed and whatever, and whatever. And I started to drive in to join the conversation. And I noticed they, some of them spotted, I was smiling and laughing to myself. And, and I, I re re realized my being there in that state, would, they wouldn't understand it. So I turned and went back on my journey. Uh, but I remember the, 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 the flavor. I would call that a self-presence. And things worked out. Now, let me hear your stories. You heard Katya's. You heard mine. You heard Jack's, sort of. Not one of you has ever had an occurrence. I'm going to go eat pizza if you don't say something. I've, I've had one since I, of course. And... Oh. Um, a, a young man riding a motorbike pretty fast and I was on a road that I, I, I'd i been on a lot of times and there were some really nice parts of it that I enjoyed riding fast. This particular big corner I was on, uh, it was just in Australia and have very, very big trucking rigs coming around the corner. I felt that the bike start to slip. It's starting to go, and I can see this truck coming, and the bike's going to slip underneath it. Now, I'd, Let me it, tell the people, not good because the trucks in Australia are double trucks. Sure. <laughs> There's a lot of tires. You don't want to slip under that one. It's bad enough our trucks. But in Australia, tires all over the place. So go ahead. For sure. And at that point of panicking and going, oh, shit. I found myself looking down on the motorbike, me on the motorbike, mm -hmm. yet still feeling myself <laughs> watching. Yeah. And so you had both going speed, out at the same time? Yeah. Cool. And then I could feel myself and I felt an adjustment in my body and I was gone. I was through the corner and next minute, bang, back in my body. I'm going, holy, what was that? <laughs> but yeah. what was really, really vivid was that, that, that separation and how bright everything was and how I felt completely safe and held by something. Yeah. Until I Again, went back, back into to, the, my body, yeah. I, I was shaking, you know, but that. Yeah. Back to Katja's, when the me was there, she felt totally safe going way out into the lake and not worrying what the family's panicking about. It's, in my car thing, it was like, what a kick this is. What fun. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and anyway, so yes, thank you. Yeah, I uh, had... Interesting that he had that uh, self looking at the body and still feeling at the same time the, the bike. Go ahead. 
Yeah, uh, this is Amy. Um, I had two experiences that, that I wanted this to share. Florida, Amy. Florida, yeah. You must designate yourself or the girl from Brooklyn. The Bronx. And, uh, Amy, could you turn Bronx. on your camera, please? Amy, please turn no, on. No, no, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm okay. <laughs> sorry. Um, See, three hours later in Florida. <laughs> You know what she looks like at this time of the night. Leave her alone. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for thank you for your understanding. I'm, I'm being more socially aware these days. I just love My it. My circle is coming into I play. I love it. <laughs> thank you. Um, okay, here's my two. One is I was in a car accident a couple of years ago, and um, I got hit by a truck, and the car started to move. And I was totally in the flow with the direction of the car. There was no emotion that I felt. I just was present in that flow. The car took down a, um, a pole and the car stopped. I got out of the car and I was totally centered, grounded, totally okay, okay? The second, you weren't shaking. You weren't I wasn't shaking. I mean, the firemen came and the EMS, and they, they couldn't believe I was so okay. You know, <laughs> wasn't hurt at all. The second, the second experience I had was I'm at the Aikido retreat many, many years ago, and Am I'm I? yes, yours, and I'm singing the rose. And when I start to sing, I practiced it a number of times and I was pretty cool with it. And I'm singing it and all of a sudden I realize that I am out of control. I'm not, I'm not singing it the way that I practiced it. And so I couldn't stop and do a do-over. So I just let go and I went into the flow and I allowed whatever to come out. And you ran up afterwards, you ran up on the stage and you picked me up and hugged me. And I realized that what you saw was that I had entered this flow, you know? Uh, so what I'm, what I'm getting is that, and, and I wanna check this with you, is that when you the- You can call me and we dialogue it. I'm sorry? You can what? call me and we'll dialogue about it. You want to check something with me? Yeah, anyway. I just want to ask one thing. Just one thing. Yeah. Is, so when you when the self appears, one of the ways that we know the self is there is when it's in a flow, when we find ourselves. No, 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 no. No. Self doesn't flow. Self is present. And the flowing things go on more naturally, harmoniously. The self itself, I wouldn't say flows. No, no. Could I be mean, corrected one day, but... What I mean no. in that is presence, flows flow, and I'm aware of the flow because I'm present. Okay. I'm experiencing okay. the flow, but, but I'm a, present. Yeah, so there's a presence, and the presence is able to go with the flow. There's no distinction between that's its job. Yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. got it. Self presence allows that level of creation to go on more harmoniously. The original of that, or very, not the original, but finer, finer, uh, that, that presence of self, creation, your creation, your world, your style unfolded there. Self was there, okay? Yeah, okay, thank you. So I just didn't want to get people dizzy with self. <laughs> Myself is gonna spin around here. I, do, I know dizzy selves here, okay? <laughs> uh, time's moving. Somebody, good story for us? Sensei. Yo. This is Andrew from San Jose. How are you? Yes, doing? Andrew, go. Um, so it was my, my birthday. I was out in the park um, with my girlfriend. We were celebrating. And um, we were in like a baseball field, empty baseball stadium. And this... Uh, what I would later learn was a homeless man, and he was basically cussing up a storm. Um, it sounded like he was on something. Um, okay. Yeah. And so he was coming towards our way. And I mean, since he was on something, I don't think he was aware that we were there. 
he came within, I would say about 10 to 15 feet away from us. And I would probably say he was like five, nine, maybe 180, 200. He was just on something like, okay, go. um, and you know, my girlfriend started going into a fetal position. So definitely not in a place to do anything. And right then and there, it was just like, okay, so I just kind of let go and I just start staring at him. And like, I was looking straight into his eye. And of course I saw that he was just out of it completely. He was still cussing, but I remember very distinctly um, the urge to look down kind of like in a very submissive uh, body language, but it was just, I just continually maintained eye contact and I re and it wasn't till later that I realized I was also smiling at him um yeah no I can look down you didn't need what your girlfriend was doing yeah mm -hmm. the, the energies doesn't matter open let him flow around whatever 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 so the energies brought her into her position yeah thank you one more. Do we, do we complete with you, Andrew? Oh, I was I was just gonna say, you know, after a while, he just walked off. Um, Should be so. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Andrew. Okay, I have one. This is Amy. Amy from Oakland. Thank you, Amy from Oakland. <laughs> so, um, I was living in Japan. And uh, this was back in 95. And there was, um, I was on a train and there were all these people just packed, you know, Japanese trains, right? Just packed with people. And uh, there was this guy that came on who was, um, he had this like fake gun or something. I don't remember actually, he had something. And he kept going bang, 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 bang. And he was like pointing it at people and people were freaked out out literally they were just like oh getting away from him and I did a little bit kind of what Andrew did where I just looked at him and I was like Dame de yo. before like, you get the there before you get there yeah what's going on what went on before you looked at him before you approached him before you took his gun away and broke his damn wrist I was, <laughs> what? I was taking stock Come of on. the situation. And I noticed that people were afraid. But then when I looked at him, he didn't seem like he fit, like he wasn't, he wasn't being, um, he, wasn't he, a didn't danger. Have, he didn't have a, a, like an energy of being violent. It was more like he was just crazy. I hate to say that word, right? You know, As you get kind of, balanced and the centered you ought to be able to read the circle situation that you're involved in better. Uh, so if nothing else, there's a nice amount of balance there that worked out nice or something. Yeah. And again, the balance is what we need and we should, that's why we practice with it all the time. I want you to be clear on it because it's through the balance where we can tap the self. Okay, without that unit, that squared awareness, whatever you want to call it, however you want to set it up, we need that to properly touch the self and then for the self to support. I think you used that word a couple of weeks back, where self supports. Okay. If I were to think about it, because this was like so long ago, right? But if I kind of. No, really no, no, no. Amy. Your young lady, you long time ago, <laughs> it's, it's 1952 or whatever. <laughs> but if I really reflect on it, there was a moment of calm yeah. that there's like everything's happening out here, but then there's that calmness in me. And calmness again uh, often happens when there's harmony, it could be very calm. And there's many different words that will happen at different levels of balance or vibration rates of balance. Somebody uh, will touch one that's calm. 
Uh, somebody else will say, no, no, it's peaceful. Somebody else will say, oh, no, it just vibes nice. What a beautiful harmonic or something. Uh, uh, so at different levels, that meeting place will produce uh, uh, its own word. And uh, yes, so yes, home is one of them. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, a lot of people think calm is the goal. Well, if you're very nervous and you, you settle down and you get calm, we can say, okay, you're happy now. And they will be because they were nervous before. Now they're calm. Mm -hmm. uh, but in a spiritual or right, spiritual, who in developing work, uh, calm for us should be telling us that there's balance at that level. And let's move through the balance doorway into if we're working character who are you now that your that your parents are are valid who are you or move through that same calm to self you show yourself here and what was cool about that too is that as i was interacting with him he sat down next to me and we were talking <laughs> I, he didn't understand the word I was saying, and I I just started talking to him in English, saying, "Oh, you know, the gun. You shouldn't have it. It's kind of bad." And then he got really, you know, like he came into this kind of calm space with me. So that was pretty. Did you did you ever read Terry Dobson's story? Exactly. I I have read that story, <laughs> you have? but this was totally not that story. It was a totally <laughs> unique experience. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, but it was sound like a very similar situation. Terry didn't do it, but the older guy did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you. Uh -huh. uh, thank you Amy. How are we doing, people? You got you you you're getting a sense. Uh, uh, again, next week we will spend time calling out, calling up self, uh, but. Not bad. We we double checked our balancing. I think I clarified again how important it is to have a good squared away unit, <sighs> so that self has a uh, uh, will reference that back. If you're the unit, self is interested in you because it's you, you know. Uh, so it it lines up well. I'm practicing uh, these days because self is coming up, talking to self, bear with me, uh, talking to self. And some of the selves are not quite lined up. Okay. So uh, can you follow what I'm trying to say here? They're, I can call them, they'll be present, but some of them aren't really present. They're, they're held back a ways. They really don't want to be here. There's a misunderstanding about something. So they not boom here. Uh, are you following? Some other selves come in, bing, boom. They're game busters. They're glowing right there. Uh, so apparently we have a variety of levels of self. Okay. Um, and we'll get into that kind of shit later. Oh, why did I bring that up? Anyway, squared away. So next week, next week, we'll try to call up self. We, and maybe we'll try the pattern of self talking to a finer level of self. I called it over self. Some people don't like anything being over them. So we won't use that word. Uh, self talking to the finer level of itself. And we could try that pattern, see what that does for you. Uh, and it's also something I'm working on about different ways to approach self. Uh, so I'm kind of going over if I want to ever lay out, uh, here's the major best ways of going for self. Okay. Is it the self talking to a finer self pattern? Will that do it? Or is it the clear the decks, finer dimensional sense? Here comes self. Easy, clear the deck, boom down. You're trading in all those energies. You're leaving a stage open for more or finer of self to be present. Will that be better or better for some people? Uh, there's another one I'm working on, but I forget what it is. I'll 
core. I'm, I'm playing with tracking core through to self. Uh, you all know what a physical core plexus is, but I want to keep tracking that uh, and, and seeing how that does for self. If, if some forms facilitate self showing better or what. So anyway, that's my work that I do during the week. <laughs> Where the hell are we, people? Are we, are we finishing up? You got anything semi-fantastic to say? I wanted to say one thing, Sensei. Wait a minute. I would like to say- I know that. I know that uh, voice. There you are. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Um, what I learned from you tonight was, in terms of from last week to this week, when we did the chanting, um, when the circle wanted to do this chanting back to the core, I had to really wait for it. Last week, I was just like Mima, and then I was just like right away back, and it was more in my mind. But today, yeah. it was like, oh. You're starting to it's, feel its tempo, could we say? It's, uh, yeah. 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 That uh, was the me. whole thing beat. I, I don't know how to say this. It beats da 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 da, but it also beats da 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 da. It has a multitude of beats within itself. Uh, I don't know how to say it well, but but yeah. See, any anybody can say, "Here it comes, there it goes, here it comes, there it goes." <laughs> but when you start to actually feel it, let's say, it's like, "No, not yet." Wait, here, this one, boom, bada bang, da. yeah, yeah. Exactly. That was very cool. Thank you, Sensei. You're quite welcome. Thank you. Yeah. My peach is not here yet, people. So if you want to say anything. No, that's it. We're coming up on five before eight. Anyone have any last comments? Oh, I'd touch in if there's nothing happening, but I, there's it's not Richard important. Moon. Well, you know. You can't start um, a conversation with nothing happening, Richard. <laughs> the nothing happening is if, if there's nothing happening. I mean, if somebody's got a story they'd like to tell or, or a question they'd like to ask, I was just going to mention something about the video we talked about. So is there anyone? I don't want to step on anything. Uh, the video, the French? Yes. Go ahead, Richard. Okay. I, there were just... Um, you know, I shared it with everyone because I thought, well, you know, it's just interesting to hear a guy tell stories about Hambu and O-sensei, and I assume a lot of people who study Aikido would be interested, but Bob and I were talking about the, the video, and I was saying that the only part that caught me was his moments of description, and he said, somebody asked him, is this important to mankind? And he said, yes, it brings a lot in terms of self-control. I just going to highlight the words there for our play on it. During an attack, the reflex action comes into play, not the brain. So that was his way of talking about this shift from the eye, if you will, or something like that. It's the concept of Zen Buddhism that tells us to make the void, uh, to be the void and let the instinct come out. And I asked, I can't remember who, I forgot, Eric, I think whoever, um, who speaks French, if he would give us a different translation, we'll see if we get one. Anyhow, just mention that if there's anything you wanted to say about it or, uh, you uh, know. No, because I'd have to add my use of certain words and sort of and your correct piece is close. his words and correct the locations of things. So no, and your I won't say anything. And we're your out of time for the evening. And Yay, I was going to say your God. Leave your Richard and, and Sensei to discuss that offline, as they say. Thank you, Richard. That's the Andre Noquet uh, uh, documentary about O Sensei that you circulated the link. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. And Nado Sensei, thank you so much for a wonderful class again tonight. And good night, everyone. And uh, see you all next week. We're thank over you, Sensei. Over now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.